Justin Bieber came down, rocked the house, did his thing. Um, we, 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 we party rocked, shuffled uh, at the end of the show to close it. And uh, it, was, it was actually, we were, we were trending, trending worldwide for like five or six hours. So wow. uh, it was, it's good to know that everybody felt the episode and everybody, you know, saw it and, and, and received it well and was talking about it in a, a manner um, that hopefully was positive um, via Twitter, via the online yeah. feed. And uh, it was fun, you know. They everyone got to see uh, the second installment of MC Grammar, uh, MC, <laughs> MC, MC Grammar Claus. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I broke it down in, in, in a Christmas themed uh, MC Hammer Pants pants. Uh, <laughs> we could, like to call them MC Grammar Pants because you know we don't want any uh, yeah. copyright infringement right, uh, right. problems. <laughs> Um, had you met Justin Bieber before? He was on the show. Yeah, before, no, right? I, I've, I've known Justin via uh, Selena. You know, I mm -hmm, right. Selena go way, way back, and uh, I, I grew up with Selena. And I was actually originally on the what was then the Amazing O'Malley's O'Malley's mm -hmm. show way back when with Selena and David and all those guys. So I, uh, I love Selena and JB, and, and and he treats her right. She treats him good. Nico Harris. Um, Nico Harris is the the suave, charismatic. Uh, you know, ladies' man, if, if you must Sounds call Sounds like it him. could be you. Possibly. Potentially, I don't know. <laughs> I, I say Nico Harris is me, you know, at, at 18 now, at 17, you know. And um, he, he he's a smooth dresser. You know, he always has the latest fashions, and he's always, you know, rocking the smoothest fedora, of course. That's the key to the Nico Harris swagger, <laughs> the fedora. He's cool like Mick Jagger. Right. Um, And, you know... Most importantly, Nico is just all about the camaraderie, you know, getting a team together, you know, trying to figure out the next funniest sketch for, for the next live show. And, uh, you know, he's all about pranking jokes or, or cracking jokes and pranking mm -hmm. via the pranking. form of jokes. Right. So, you know, if, if you catch a, uh, a wet tissue, you know, in the middle of a scene flying out of the air, that could be me <laughs> or Nico. <laughs> or Nico, definitely Nico. Um, so speaking of pranks, uh, Doug Brochu, who we've met, you guys have a lot of fun. You mm -hmm. must on set. Doug's my man. Do you have uh, Do you have any stories or a story for us? For, with, with me and Doug, yes. Oh, too many. Well, <laughs> what, mo the the most memorable one, um, the most memorable prank that me and Doug collaborated on. And Doug is like basically my uh, my, my 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 mini Jack Black. Um, so you know he's got that that jump out, that jump at you, you know, high energy, you know, yeah. in your face awesomely funny personality like Jack Black does and uh, we what we did was we, we hid behind two corners in a hallway that was pretty much the communal hallway for the entire show uh, where our dressing rooms were and we held two lunch trays together okay. so I held the lunch tray together on one side and Doug was bait on the other side Doug would jump out then I would jump out and clap the lunch trays to the loudest most piercing sound you have ever heard I think we had two pass outs, one faint. I mean, our numbers were high. It's say, all on record. You sounds know, violent. See this one sounds day. really violent. It was there was no <laughs> violence involved, but there was definitely loud piercing noises. What's up, guys? It's your boy Brandon Michael Smith hanging out with LA Teen Festival dot com, the best festival. Come on. 